हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट केमिकल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ग्रो थ्रू व्हाट आर गुड एंड बेस्ट कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी गुड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मटेरियल्स व्हिच अलाउ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट टू पास थ्रू देम इज कॉल्ड गुड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड बैड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मटेरियल्स विच डू नॉट अलाउ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट टू पास थ्रू देम आर कॉल्ड बैड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नाउ वी हैव टू सेटअप दिस कंटेंट्स ए स्क्रू ड्राइवर बल्ब एंड सेल in in first case we joined wire to the metal part of the screw driver in this case we will see that the bulb will glow after some time but in the second case we will see that bulb will not glow when we connect the wire to the wood part of the screw driver but what is the reason behind it why the reason behind is that uh, metal is a good conductor of electricity so when the uh, circuit will be uh, complete the electric current will pass through it and will reach the bulb and because of this the bulb will glow but in this case wood is not a good conductor of electricity it is a bad conductor of electricity so it will not allow electric current to pass through it and the bulb will not glow because circuit is incomplete so in this case we can clearly see that metal is a good conductor of electricity that is why it allows electric current to pass through it but wood is not a good conductor of electricity and it does not allow electric current to pass through it now we will see some examples of good conductors and bad conductors of electricity in our day to day life now here are some examples of good and bad conductors of electricity in good conductors of electricity there are brass bronze metal sludge steel steel copper aluminum etc all these metals are good conductor of electricity as they allow the flow of electricity through them there is one very interesting conductor of electricity it is the lemon what makes the lemon a good conductor of electricity this we will study in our next section that what makes a lemon a good conductor of electricity now about the bad conductors of electricity there are tape cello tape glasses these do not allow electric current to pa- pass through them so they are bad conductors of electricity now our next topic is do liquids conduct electricity for this we have a setup it contains lemon juice bulb and a cell now if we close the circuit we can see that the bulb will start glowing but what makes the bulb to glow it is the current that flows through the cell and because the lemon juice is conducting it flows through the lemon juice and then reaches the bulb and makes the bulb to glow but the question is what makes the lemon juice to conduct conducting and the answer is the salts present in the lemon juice the salts act as a carrier it carries the electric current through the lemon juice and then pass it to the bulb and the bulb will start glowing so through this example we can see that the liquids can also conduct electricity now we have different materials we will see that these materials conduct electricity or not lemon juice in the previous example we we will we see that lemon juice conducts electricity so it is a good conductor of electricity vinegar vinegar is a good conductor of electricity because it contains salts tap water 
tap water is also a good conductor of electricity because it contains impurities in the form of salt. Distilled water. Distilled water is not a good conductor of electricity as it is neutral and does not contain any salt. Milk. Milk is also a bad conductor of electricity as it also does not contain any salt and is neutral. Honey. Honey is a bad conductor of electricity. It, it is also a neutral. Similarly, vegetable oil it does not contain any salt, so it is a bad conductor of electricity. Potato. It is also a bad conductor of electricity because it is also neutral and does not contain any salt. So we see different examples which are good and bad conductor of electricity. The main examples are tap water and distilled water. It is very helpful for your exams as it can be asked why tap water conducts electricity and distilled water by not because tap water contains impurities in the form of salts while distilled water does not contain it. So tap water conducts electricity while distilled water doesn't. In this section we will see chemical effects of electric current that is what chemical effects are produced when an electric current is passed through a solution? For this, we have a setup. In this, we have a cell, a metal cap, a carbon rod, and water. Carbon rods are immersed in the water. Now, as soon as we close the circuit, the electric current passes through it. Now, after some time, we can see that bubbles are start forming near the carbon rod and then what is the reason of forming of bubble it is due to chemical reactions that occur inside the water when the electric current flows through it many such chemical changes are take takes place when electric current flows through it it like the deposition of metal changing of color formation of bubbles etc so the chemical effects are surely produced when electric current is passed through a certain solution our next topic is leds these are these are basically li light emitting diodes emitting diodes it requires very low voltage to glow up so they are more preferable in homes in homes and offices they can also be glowed with the help of tap water if because they have very low voltage and requires very low electricity so if we have a tap water and we make a connection and we connect it to the LED this is LED then it will start to glow if it is tap water it requires such amount of low voltage and current so these are more preferable in home appliances as it is it consumes less electricity Now, that are some of the revision questions that you will answer. First question is, what are good conductors of electricity? Materials which allow electric current to pass through them examples are copper iron lemon etc now what are insulators materials which do not 
allow electric current to pass through example plastic glass etc now what is led why it can be used in place of bulb led is a light emitting diode it can be used in place of bulb because it requires less current to glow and thus saves electricity now what effect does current produce when it flows through conducting solution chemical reactions takes place bubbles starts forming as we see in the case of carbon nodes metals gets deposited metals gets deposited and etc etc what is the applications of chemical effect of current now this is important question first is electroplating we will discuss in brief about electroplating in next session basically electroplating is a deposition of metal on material by means of electricity second is electrolysis it is decomposition of substance with help of electricity now these are some of the revision questions which will cover all the lecture now you please read the chapter from the book at home and try to solve the questions thank you